Hello Lifestyler, it's Lushawn. If you've just found my channel, welcome. And if you are returning to my channel, welcome back. Thank you so much for supporting me here on Lushawn's Lifestyle. I truly do appreciate it. So thank you. Um, if you're just a viewer and you keep coming back and you haven't decided, go ahead and click that subscribe button. I'd love to keep you here. And um, for those of you who are my A1 since day one, Thank you so much, and I truly do appreciate it. And to all my new subscribers, hey, welcome. All right, so today's video is my, as you can see, my setup for my sinking funds for the new year. Um, a few of my categories have changed, and the uh, few amounts um, that I'm funding um, has changed for the new year. Um, I went back, did some reflection, <laughs> um, doing a, I do an assessment, although I didn't put my quarterly assessment down um, on video, I do go through my budget quarterly to see what changes I need to make. So at this previous quarter, um, I realized early on that I was going to need to make some changes and I did. I made changes with my cash envelopes and I also made changes with my sinking funds and also my debt snowball amount. So yeah, some changes here and there, um, tweaking the financial goals um, so that I can better achieve them. All right, so let's go ahead and um, get right into uh, this video. Okay, of course, I'm in my Erin Condren Deluxe Monthly Planner, and the budget kit that I am using is from Uniquely Sean, and it is so pretty and wintry and whatnot, and believe it or not, the day I'm filming this, I live in Florida, y'all, it's 40, woke up to 40 degrees. What the heck is going on? All right, and it was just like 83 degrees the day before. Craziness. All right. So let's go ahead and let me pull you all in so you can see. It's not too close. What I got going on, let me move that back. I like my candle though. Oh no, I put my candle out. Okay, all right. Oh well, it's not going, it's not going to work. Y'all, it's not going to work. Okay, oh no, wait, I can put it here. Yeah, there we go. All right, I'm sorry, y'all, I just need my, I need my candle. Okay, all righty, so let me grab my notes and let's get this train a moving. All right, so um, my new category is annual fees. And if you are new, I will link my annual fee video. I did a deep dive into my annual fees, my membership fees and all of that, and came up with uh, what I need to put in sinking funds because they were hitting and I didn't track them. I had, you know, it was like I would get a bill, you know, something on my credit card and I'm like, oh, forgot about that. Oh, forgot about that. So I actually went into all of my memberships and cars to see exactly what the annual fee um, would be, when it's due, and all that good stuff. And um, I came up with my um, category to make sure that I'm able to cover those um, and not be surprised. I know when they're going to come out and all that good stuff. So to start, of course, this one is starting fresh at zero. But with my first paycheck, I put um, $25 towards that. So I'm going to be putting $50 a month for that. So that's $25. And then my next category is car maintenance maintenance and I had this one of course last year so I have this one rolled and it's in a negative so I'm starting out at 183 28 behind the eight ball with this but it is what it is and I put $25 towards that for that 
paycheck one. Uh, next is car registration. Car registration is fully funded. I'm just waiting to when I have to pay that bill. So that is starting at $40. And I will not I will not be putting anything to car registration after I pay this. I think I'm just going to, you know, like pay for it went like out of my remaining funds in my budget cuz it's cuz of the amount. I'm like, you know what? I really don't need to sink funds for that when I can I can make that one work with uh, within my budget when it's time to pay for it. So I'm not going to fund this one anymore after it's paid. So we're going to put that at zero. Then next is clothing. And clothing started is starting with $81.38. And I'm not changing the amount that I put to it. It's going to be $12.50. Um, next is um, Georgia stuff. For those of you who are new to my channel, um, I have property in um, Georgia, the town where my great grandparents, grandparents, all of them, parents <laughs> started um, when they left South Carolina and so there's property there and it ended up coming to my mom and her sisters and brothers but now it's down my mom gave me her part my aunt gave me her part that whole thing so I still have to pay property tax on that and then we also have a cemetery plot there a family plot from like my you know, like I said, my ancestors from like the 1800s. So I try to keep up the maintenance on that as well. All right. So that is fully funded at $120. And, <clears throat> excuse me. And for that, I am going to put $5 um, per paycheck for that. And in fact, I've got, I got a, I got my property tax bill, so I need to, I'll be using this one this month. Um, next is gifts and gifts encompass birthdays, Christmas, all of that stuff. I, I um, up, up this amount so that I can be prepared. I don't buy a whole lot of stuff for Christmas, um, but in the holidays but i wanted to have something and not depend on because what i do is i get a, a bonus so i i figure you know what let me not just lean on that in the event something happens that we don't get a bonus i don't want to be left out on a you know on a limb you know and do something you know crazy so i'm going to up my gifts amount to <clears throat> Um, that is going to be $30. Um, wait, I started with, I'm sorry, my gifts, um, the balance currently was at zero because I used that all up. So it's starting at zero and I'm going to put $30 per um, paycheck for that. Next is medical dental. And I think I have a little appointment coming up next soon um so that is starting with i have 147.79 in that fund right now and i'm going to that's going to i'm not changing the amount that i put and that's twenty dollars per paycheck um then i have tires my tires are fully funded for now and my tires are good on my car um, if I get a new car that then because y'all know those of you who've been here know I've been struggling with my car now but if I get a new car it'll be have new, decent I guess new or decent tires on it so I'm not gonna fund it I'm just gonna leave it at what it is now because um, that's what it takes for me to get four new tires and I went through that whole story of my um my old neighbor he and his wife started a tire shop and 
we were like their first one of their first customers and so they like gave me this deal into perpetuity so no matter what I get done my four tires always they do everything and I only pay 240 so I'm not gonna fund that um, just gonna leave that as is um, then I have travel and travel I did not change that amount currently there's 125 in that um, category in that fund and I put 1250 um, for this paycheck and then I just put this little interest category here because the bank does pay it so I want to track it and I ended at 26 cents and yeah that'll be up to the bank whenever they do anything with that so that is that so did I do something wrong I did something wrong I did I did I did I left off a category so let me I'm gonna wipe this out see this is I left off one of my newer categories and that is um, home decor and I really need to like do things to kind of fix up the house and I do a lot of DIYs and whatnot but I still need to have something so that I can spruce up the home. So, of course, this is a new one, so it's starting at zero, and that amount that I'm going to be putting to it is $25. And so now I don't have a spot. See, I was so used, I, this, this extra one threw me off. I'll have it right by the next, um, next month. So I'm not going to put in the interest amount. Well, yeah, I have to. So um, I'm going to take up this sticker here. And I have to just redo some stuff off camera. Ooh. Oh no, I don't want to do that. I don't want to mess it up. So you know what? I'll I'll uh, I'll I'll figure it out. All right. So what I'll do is just do interest, really small, and that is um, twenty six cents. And then I'll do total, really small. I'll fix it on the next go round. It's okay. Nobody's looking in here but me and whoever views this video. <laughs> okay, so that puts um, that puts my so this total here is my ending balance from December. So I ended with nine seventy one fifteen, and actually it will be more because this is a negative, and so. Y'all get the gist. It's this is being covered by other things. And oh no, I am totally messing up. I left off my MacBook. I left off my MacBook. So I need to put my MacBook here. Alright, so this is gonna be like totally like really messed up, but so my MacBook, I currently have $400 in my MacBook fund. And I'm still putting the 25 to that. All right, so yeah. Girl, it's having some issues. Okay, let me just really quickly add this up just to be sure. 40, 81, 38, 120, 147, 79, 400, 240, 145. Six 
Right, so that leaves me at at uh, at the nine seventy one fifteen. So just want to make sure those numbers were right. Okay, so for this um, pay period, I put one fifty towards uh, my sinking funds. So yeah, oh that was a struggle. Good lord. All right. So yeah, so the, that's what they are looking like. And these are my new categories. And I promise you, for February, this will look a whole lot better. It won't look so janky. But hey, that's budgeting. Stuff happens. That's how, you know, it's real deal. This is the real deal. I'm showing y'all the raw behind the scenes. This is how it goes. All right, so if you've lasted this long in the video, you already know you are a lifestyler. And until my next video, hugs and love. Bye.